Pow Wow TV is a production of the Apache Press Club at Tyler Junior College. The opinions expressed here are those of the students and do not necessarily reflect the positions of Tyler Junior College. Coming up on Pow Wow TV, the TJC Journalism Department went to Austin to compete and attend a conference. And the TJC Police Department has new equipment. Also, the TJC Leadership Class is fundraising for Make-A-Wish. Pow Wow TV starts right now. From Studio 203 on the campus of Tyler Junior College, this is Pow Wow TV, powered by MyTJCNews.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Fabian Casala. And I'm Sabra Shipman. Students will begin to pay more will begin to pay more to attend TJC. According to the Tyler Morning Telegraph, the Board of Trustees voted to raise tuition to cover the rising costs of supplies and instruction that the college has experienced. Students taking 12 hours of credit will see a 4.7% increase for in-district. There will be a 6% increase for out-of-district. And for new residents, there will be a 7.2%. There's a new restaurant opening across from TJC. Rose Social Kitchen is the latest venture from Nick and Jen Pences, the owners of Stanley's. It's located across from the new nurses building on campus and brings pizza, sandwiches, drinks, and more. The goal is to give, the, the goal to is to give college students a place to bring their laptop, grab like a coffee, and study. Um, we're trying to finish as soon as possible. We would like to be open by the end of the year, but we're just kind of really want everything to be perfect. Rose Social Kitchen will also offer cheese and meats by weight. There are many organizations on the TJC campus. Some are TJC-only organizations and others are national organizations. Emily Atterbury takes a look into the Phi Theta Kappa and the message they stand for. Phi Theta Kappa is an academic organization recognized on junior campuses nationwide. At TJC, students involved in this group spend time in fellowship, leadership, scholarship and service. There's a lot of scholarships, there's a lot of cool opportunities, like we're about to go to A&M right now. We do a lot of volunteering, so it's a, it's a really nice experience because you are helping someone else that needs to help. The program requires students to keep a positive GPA and take grades seriously. It helped me be encouraged that I'm not the only one studying really hard in college and just kept my GPA up. Keeping good grades in this program means beneficial advantages to universities they plan to transfer to later on. It's a huge opportunity to apply for the scholarships in the future. While on campus and when going on trips, members sell their custom-made t-shirts to raise money. They also sponsor the Hugs Closet, where students can access free supplies for their school and personal needs. College is not about just a study, a study. So, we study, we keep good grades, and also we can enjoy. The organization's emphasis on fellowship, leadership, scholarship, and service gives TJC students opportunities now to succeed in the future. I'm Emily Atterbury from MyTJCNews.com. This past weekend, a group of TJC students traveled on to Austin for a national student media conference. Here's the story. On October 28th through the 31st, 12 TJC students interested or involved in collegiate media attended the National College Media Convention in Austin, Texas. I'm really enjoying it. I mean, this is the third day um, for Saturday, and I've been doing a lot of, a lot of sessions that have been uh, focused around on the things that I'm interested in, being video, being audio, uh, opinion pieces I'm really big on. Um, the list of speakers and topics is just goes on and on, so great opportunities for students. There were many sessions students could attend depending on their major. It was definitely a very educational experience. Colleges from all over the country attended the conference. Students were able to exchange contact information, ideas, and much more. You know, I think um, I can speak to what you can learn, and that's from people who've lived the business, who've been in the business, who understand the deadlines of journalism, the crazy world in which uh, journalism exists, all about death and destruction. If you can't handle um, driving up to the scene of a, a murder. Um, journalism is not for you. They're so willing to just open it up to all college students. I brought two folks that um, came with me down here to Texas to do the show and you know, we did it for about an hour and it was just, I felt like there's no greater feeling to explain it. You know, it's hard. There was also a multimedia competition schools could choose to participate in. 
Each team had from 6 p.m. on Thursday night to 6 a.m. on the following morning to construct a news story, take photos, and put together some form of video or audio package about life on 6th Street in Austin. TJC ended up placing in several categories. I'm Sabre Shipman for MyTJCNews.com. The students that attended the conference took home a lot of good information and were able to make contacts with other students, professors, and speakers from around the country. Hard skills get you the interview, soft skills get you the job. An interview workshop will be offered November 11th at 3.30 p.m. in the Quest classroom of the Vaughn Library. The workshop will teach you how to prepare for an interview, respond to questions, and what to do after an interview. Contact Career Services at 903-510-2334 for more information. Kids get in free on Saturday, November 7th at the Center for Earth and Space Science Education Center. The child has to be accompanied by a paying adult. Visitors can enjoy sonic sensation in several different dome shows playing throughout the day. Ceci is located in the center of the TJC main campus next to Pirtle. TJC had quite the event on campus. Bubble soccer was played and multiple students showed up and there was some serious competition on the field. A Center for Student Life hosted a bubble soccer tournament on Wednesday, October 14th. The event lasted from 12 to 4 p.m. and a total of 10 teams were signed up for the tournament. The Center for Student Life hosted this event to bring students together for some competitive fun. Well, we just hope that students come out here and have a good time and sweat a little and socialize with other Apaches. I think it's great. It's a beautiful day, sunshine, and hey, a little competition never hurt anybody. Bubble soccer has the same rules as regular soccer, except the players in a plastic bubble. Soccer is basically simple. It's kind of exactly like playing real soccer, except you're surrounded by a big plastic bubble. Uh, you run around. Um, it's really hard to see in there. It's kind of added adds to the challenge of the whole thing. Uh, but the fun part is you get to bump into people. You get knocked to the ground. You're rolling around. Uh, basically, it's a five-minute game. First team to three goals. Whoever scores the most goals by the end of the five minutes or reaches three goals is the winner. And right now, today, we're actually doing a tournament, so there's teams that have been signed up and they've been coming through, and it's kind of just an elimination sort of thing we're doing. The day came to a conclusion with the Sauce Kings taking home the trophy. We're just a couple of guys, you know, who wants to work hard, play hard, and win. Other than that, you know, we're just the Sauce Kings. I'm James Parker, MyTJCNews.com. Student Senate is hosting the annual canned food drive this month. Donation bins are located at the Rogers Student Center, Jenkins Hall, Pirtle, and the Rogers Nursing Building. Students should drop off donations before November 20th. Prizes will be given to the person or organization who donates the most. TJC veterans got a little surprise while in class. Volunteers went around handing out appreciation letters. TJC's Department of Veterans Affairs teamed up with the Residence Hall Association and the Nursing Student Association. It's its first year of us doing this, so we're hoping that this will build a foundation for next year, and hopefully next year it's bigger, and then the following year it just grows. There will also be hundreds of flags placed on the Jenkins lawn in honor of Texans who have been lost in duty since the beginning of the war in Afghanistan. Coming up after the break, the TJC police force is sporting a piece of equipment that you probably know nothing about. Plus, we will tell you how you can get involved with the oldest club on campus. In the small town of Elmira, New York, a boy was born into an all-American family. The odds of him achieving his dream in the fashion industry? One in 23 million. The odds of having a child diagnosed with autism? One in 68. I am Tommy Hilfiger, and my family is affected by autism. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. Huntington. Every proper bear knows that the right fit means everything. Especially when it comes to car seats. Oh, really? I just did what any bear would do. So know for sure that your child is in the right car seat for their age and size. I like it. To learn more, visit safercar.gov slash the right seat. Oh, hello there. Oh, where's that bear? <laughs>
Dr. King, what's your next move? A march from Selma to Montgomery. Selma is now for every man, woman, and child. We will not wait any longer. In front of the crowd. Oh, my eyes have seen the glory. 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 Hallelujah. So you see, son, good manners are important. Should I go through it again? Yes. Yes, please. Yes, please. Exactly. Always say please, thank you, you're welcome. Excuse me, sit up straight, hold doors open for ladies. If the door's locked, knock first. Don't burp, don't swear, don't stare, don't use bad language. Or talk with your mouthful, keep your elbows off the table. What table? Don't interrupt. Cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. On the bus, give your seat up to anybody who has trouble standing. Bottom line, treat others the way you want to be treated. Got it? Got it. Good talk. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier. And it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. Welcome back to Pow Wow TV. TJC police are walking around with a new piece of equipment strapped to them. Body cams have made their way onto campus. Heather Foz has more on the story. You may or may not have noticed that our campus police are casually walking around TJC with cameras on them. Director of Campus Police Randy Melton explains why they've chosen to do so. That is a decision made by, by our department. Uh, it's a, you know, a trend uh, nationally, police officers, police departments, uh, that are able to financially uh, acquire body on cameras. Uh, it assists us in, in our investigation and uh, uh, as, as we visit, say, with students or, or conduct any investigation. Melson says there have been no downsides to the campus police wearing body cameras and it has been very beneficial to them. Well, for our department, it's, it's been uh, plus plus. It's, it's, been, it's very, very beneficial uh, for any, you know, contacts that we may have with a student or a traffic violator or something of that nature. Uh, it's been very useful. Um, and uh, but it works both ways as, as far as the conduct of the person and, and also the conduct of the officer. Melton says that he believes that the students on campus do not know that they wear the body cameras. They have been wearing them for two years and are located front and center in the middle of their chest. I'm Heather Foz from MyTJCNews.com. Recently, beer cans have been found on the second floor of women's restrooms of the Rogers Nursing Health and Science Center. Since October 13th, police reports show that custodian Tammy Stichler has been finding beer cans in the trash can in the restroom in the morning. One report even states that Stichler checked the restroom at 8.15 a.m. and found nothing. But when she returned at 9.20 a.m., there was an empty Bud Light bottle in the trash can. The most recent report took place on October 21st and stated there was a beer bottle found at 11.24 a.m. and another was found at 12.43 p.m. At this time, no suspect names have been released. If you want to be a part of the oldest organization on campus or you want to be involved in a play, Los Moscaris may be a club for you. Bailey Mayo brings us the story. Los Moscaris is the oldest organization on campus. Despite that, many students are not even aware of its existence. Which actually began the first afternoon that TJC existed. It's a pretty big deal, 89 years, and we're still strong. Los Moscaris is the theater department social club. Los Moscaris is open to anyone. We're an open theater department as well as Los Moscaris. Anybody can come and join. You can come and work in the afternoon. You can audition for the plays. We're, we're a big family here. Anthony Culpepper is a freshman theater major at TJC who is hoping to be inducted into Los Moscaris. He explains his experience so far this semester. My experience has been amazing. This is like a home and just a wonderful place to be, very welcoming, and if you work hard, the work pays off. I, I love the program, and I mean, it's just, it's just a great uh, organization, and how it, how it runs and what we do to promote the theater. Higgins explains what events Las Moscaris puts on and how you can feel more a part of things. Well, we put on the venue, which is anybody can come and perform, you can come get some coffee. It's a, it's a really chill environment. You can get up and do poetry if you feel so inspired or just sing. And we put on, uh, yeah, we put on venue and then we have the picnic and anyone's open to come. It's kind of our, I guess you could say, mixer of Los Moscaris. Many hours working in the theater must be put in to be inducted into Los Moss. I've been helping with building the set, doing lighting, just putting in a lot of hours. Mm -hmm into shows so I can be able to meet the requirements to be inducted into Las Moss. If you are interested in becoming a part of Las Moscaris, please contact Dr. Crawford at dcra at tjc.edu. I'm Bailey Mayo for mytjcnews.com. Place on the Halloween campus at 9 p.m. in Jean Brown Theater. 
It was themed, people wore costumes, and everyone was welcome. The TJC Theater Department will be putting on a new play called The 25th Annual Putnam Spelling Bee in the Gene Brown Theater. The play opens on November 18th and runs until November 22nd. The show starts at 7.30 p.m. Wednesday through Saturday and 2 p.m. on Sunday. The play is free with a valid TJC ID. Every second Friday, gaming and simulation students get together to create a video game in just 14 hours. Mostly they create 2D computer games. The students plan to begin making 3D games next semester. TJC Landscaping has added a total of 12 new trees on campus in preparation for the elimination of some of the old trees. Off on a tree in front of the Genicove Science Building, campus police has put caution tape up around the area to avoid having students under the area. The TJC Ensemble, Symphonic, and Concert Bands will be in concert on November 12th at 7.30 p.m. in Waz Auditorium. Admission is free. When, when we come back, we will take a look at an interview with the provost of TJC. Can you help me with this? My new dad teaches me all kinds of stuff. Hmm. Sure. He helps me with homework. That would be 3.6795. Thanks. Yep. He helps me with my decision making. I wouldn't use this one. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. I'm learning so much. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. Morning, Gary. We are Get Schooled. Dot car. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. Uh, yeah, but I don't know where to start. That's why we're here. We're free, handsome. Oh, I think we're breathtaking. And here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Biology homework, G. I got this. <laughs> Is that brand? Colleges love extracurricular activities. Well, uh, chess really isn't my thing. I got this. Doesn't matter. Go ahead. Picking a college, man. You and us. We go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Fire and ice. Those don't really go together. Go to getschool.com for more info. And then from this angle, it all makes a star. I'm a teacher. Let me tell you what I make. I make learning a privilege. Not a chore. To show up and, and frustration, a tool, not an obstacle. I make working hard seem easy. And giving up, impossible. And then we're going to turn on the lights and everybody look up. I make an old subject feel like a fresh thought. Me one. What's your reaction? Yeah. Yeah, exactly and unconventional methods uh, okay, what else? common. This is their world. Nothing. And then they die. Go ahead, go, go, go. I'm a teacher. I make more. Welcome back to Pow Wow TV. We continue to sit down with administrators in our Who is Who TJC segment. We got a chance to sit down with TJC Provost Juan Mejia, and he gives us a little insight into his past. I've been at TJC now just slightly over two years. Uh, I'm a first-generation college student, uh, meaning that while my parents were very much pro-education, they were not able to complete a degree uh, at a college or university here in the United States. However, they were very committed to all of us doing uh, good for our communities that, that we lived in, and so they encouraged us to pursue fields that would be of help. Uh, I think that we were all on board to join the nursing allied health field of some kind, but early on I realized that I was not going to be very good. My three sisters have gone on to be nurses. I don't have that skill set. So I asked if I could kind of do a waiver and go into education, and I think that was okay. And I found it to be the, the greatest. Uh, it was a game changer for me. Uh, the reality was, it, I started a technical college, Texas State Technical Institute, 
and I completed a simple certificate of completion in the area of medical records clerk and transcription and realized that I could type actually pretty well. I, I didn't know how to type initially, but learned to type well and was able to learn a little bit more about computers. And after uh, my graduating well from Texas State Technical Institute, the opportunity to complete uh, additional degrees was just a little easier. Yeah. To see the complete interview, head over to mytjcnews.com. TJC puts on many activities to get students to interact with each other. The Apache Activities Council plans many things from Yaate Leadership Retreat to Homecoming. Lizzie D Dietrich has our story. The Apache Activities Council at Tyler Junior College plans all of the fun activities for the students to attend during each semester. Their goal is to help students to meet new people and keep the semester interesting by hosting events for the student population. Um, I'm the advisor for Apache Activities Council. Um, I'm over the Yate Leadership Retreat that's held before school every year in August. Um, I'm over homecoming, um, any of the pretty much basic activities on campus. We Some of our big events are Winter Wonderland, Spring Fling, um, Student Leadership Banquet, things like that. Um, AAC Apache Activities Council um, is a group of students on campus that get together and plan different events that they want to have on campus. Um, each year they get to go to a conference to see different acts like um, singers, magicians, um, comedy. The council is currently made up of 20 students and six officers that work together to create events on campus. I like that we bring um, all of the events and activities to, um, to campus and we just make it a fun experience for the student population. AAC stays busy all year long. We meet on Mondays for an hour and Wednesdays for an hour. Um, we also work in the office. Um, it, it takes up some time, but I wouldn't say an awful lot of time. It, it only takes a lot of time when we have big events, maybe like homecoming week. That was a very busy week. To get involved in the Apache Activities Council, you must fill out an application and get chosen. I'm Lizzie Dietrich for MyTJCNews.com. Coming up after the break, we'll take a look at the Madden Tournament that will be taking place here on campus this month. So you see, son, good manners are important. Should I go through it again? Yes. Yes, please. Yes, please. Exactly. Always say please, thank you, you're welcome, excuse me, sit up straight, hold doors open for ladies, the doors locked, knock first, don't burp, don't swear, don't stare, don't use bad language, or talk with your mouthful, keep your elbows off the table. What table? Don't interrupt, cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze, on the bus, keep your seat up to anybody who has trouble standing. Bottom line, treat others the way you want to be treated. Got it? Got it. Good talk. Most parenting is hard to do in just two minutes. But two minutes twice a day making sure they brush is easier, and it could help save them from a lifetime of tooth pain. One day, when the glory comes, it will be ours. Dr. King, what's your next move? A march from Selma to Montgomery. Selma is loud for every man, woman, and child. We will not wait any longer. In front of a crowd. I think someone at my friend's school has this thing called autism. My friend's brother's son has autism. My neighbor's son has autism. My son has autism. Autism is getting closer to home. Today, one in 68 children is diagnosed with autism. That's about a 30% increase in two years. Learn more at autismspeaks.org slash signs. Every day, kids witness bullying. Oh, look! Your crush is looking at you. Poor <laughs> you. They want to help, but don't know how. See, no one here is going to help you. because no one. Teach your kids you. how to be more than a bystander. Visit StopBullying.gov. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. 
Welcome back to Pow Wow TV, powered by MyTJCNews.com. Attention all Madden lovers, there will be a Madden tournament taking place on November 19th on the second floor of Rogers Student Center. The event will take place from 5 p.m. and last until 7 p.m. There is no entry fee. The TJC leadership class is preparing to make another child's wish come true. Emily Atterbury brings us a story. The fall 2015 TJC leadership class has been working on their project for the Make-A-Wish Foundation all semester long, and they only have one semester to finish it. It's our um, big class project, and we've set a goal to raise $10,000 for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Along with the barbecue fundraiser, the group will be hosting numerous events to raise money for nine-year-old Caleb, whose wish is to go to Disney World. Um, this is pretty much all student put together for today's event. Um, we were kind of just given direction on do what you need to do to make things happen and get money raised, and we're doing our best. The group has faced many challenges throughout the process, from regulations to advertising. Yeah, we've had tons of challenges. We've had a lot of no's when we thought that they were yeses. Yet through it all, they've been a hard-working team striving for a rewarding goal. Just knowing that we're going to be able to put a smile on this child's face at the end of this project. So just knowing that we're making a difference. In the end, they hope to meet Caleb after the accomplishing experience. I'm Emily Atterbury for MyTJCNews.com. We will continue to update you on the class's progress, and in a future show, we will introduce the Make-A-Wish Child. And we'll be right back. They said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. Said a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go back to the dumpster. But I didn't listen. I made my way. And now, I am what I've always wanted to be. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Today, one out of every four American kids is Hispanic. That means many of the future doctors who will care for us, the engineers who will build our cities, the scientists and entrepreneurs of our country can be your kids. We all know how hard it is for you to send them to college. This is why we want you to know you are not alone. And every day, more people support you to make it happen. Many support you. And the Hispanic Scholarship Fund helps you prepare, plan, and pay for your kids' college education. Learn more at hsf.net. Hey, Gabby, how you doing? How was the play date and sleepover? Dad, it was great. Awesome. OK, I'm on my way. Hey, guys, what are you doing? We're I'll see you in a little bit, guys. I love you. Hi, babe. How was school today? Hi, Dad. It was great. Okay, honey. I'll be home soon. Remember, you're never too far away from your kids to be a dad. Reach out and take a second to check in, because sometimes the smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, you can always find the latest news at mytjcnews.com. Pow Wow TV is a production of the Apache Press Club at Tyler Junior College. The opinions expressed here are those of the students and do not necessarily reflect the positions of Tyler Junior College.